Hello everybody, we out here at the burn yard. We got a very, very special guest. I'm actually a big fan. He doesn't have it anymore, but he used to have this really fire GS300 with a four rotor and I believe two turbos on it making it. Have you ever seen that car? No, but cut to it and then he'll he'll show me. Yes. Yeah. That car. He comes from the land of Kiwis. Not the fruit, the bird. All the way from New Zealand. Fat boy drift, Carl Thompson. Carl Thompson! What's up, Big Carl? How are we? How you doing? How are you guys? Not bad, hanging in there. Yeah, we'll Just see. explaining to everyone you come from the land of kiwis, yeah, sure not do. the fruit, the bird. I'm, I'm really stoked on this because like the quality of the assembly of this car and everything else it seems like you do, everything's super clean. Yeah. Everything's super tight. And uh, I, saw it at, I saw it at SEMA and then when I pulled up here, I saw it was here. I was like, yeah, it's going to be an awesome Jeez. Car. Well, but, since we already got the bonnet off, <laughs> Let's talk about this. 450 cubic inch, um, 14 to 1 compression. 14 to 1? Yep, yep. It's got 460 CFM canted valve heads, big cam, <laughs> big everything. Ram, two throttle bodies. Oh, the throttle bodies are hiding under this bad boy. Yep. I don't, uh, I, I don't mind seeing it. Yeah, if you want to show us real quick. Why not? God, dude. <laughs> what, what's? <laughs> is it? Are you sure it's a drift car or is this like a pro street car? Would you call uh, these double bumpers? <clears throat> Yeah, no it's like a mini pro stock engine, really, <laughs> eh? Yo, how big is that? That twin 2400 CFM, so they got some big glory holes, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Already smoking. <laughs> Already smoking. Yo, I did not expect that. When you said two throttle bodies, I expected like 200 mils, <laughs> yeah. you know? That's like uh, 450s. 850s. Yeah, right. I don't even know. I don't even know what it is. I just I stick to calling them double pumpers. I don't, yeah. I don't know yeah. anything about actual double pumpers, but that looks like double pumping uh, to me. It's, it's pumping. Yeah. It's pumping for sure. Dude, look at the size of the primaries on this thing, man. And I love that you got O2 sensors in every yeah. single. I mean, yeah. you, this thing must be dialed. Yeah, it's all Motec. It's all dialed. Motec. Yeah. Yeah, M130. So this is a straight up big boy car. Is this your competition car? Uh, it will be my new New Zealand car. So I'll uh, get rid of my old car, and then this will be the new one for NZ, and then if I ever come back to the States, I'd want to build another one for you. So you just built this car? This yeah. is a fresh chassis? Yeah, there's six months to build this. Okay, okay, we'll okay. All right, so LSX block punched to 450 cubes. This is basically a big block, just like... Yeah, it's big cubic inch and a small block, yeah. I see you got a dry sump. Yep, daily engineering. What are these uh, these coil packs you're running? Uh, they're just like the old Mercury outboard ones, smart coils. Ah. Yeah, they're good, those. Everything's all mill spec. Yep. Yep, it's all on quick connectors. You can have like different engines, different looms, and just clip them all in and out. And... Oh, nice. Yeah, everything on this car is top notch. We moved a little fast. <laughs> we didn't really give you a full introduction. This is Carl Thompson. Hi, guys. I fell in love with this man when I saw his GS300. Had Four rotor, twin turbo, single, single turbo, single. just one giant turbo. Yeah, just one big one. Did you abandon rotaries altogether? Um, basically. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I get more enjoyment out of these now. Hell yeah, bro! Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Internet. There you go. These give me what I need, man. I'm a happy man with these. You know. Well, I mean, off the shelf. Well, well, you gotta also like this ain't no middle of the mall v8 all right this yeah. this is this yeah, ain't no this ain't shit, yeah. like this sounds better than any other v8 and all that stuff yeah. so in order to get those feels you got to do some stuff yeah there's a lot of work a but, lot of R &D, but what made you go this route probably off the shelf parts would be my biggest yeah. thing yeah being able to call up someone and just saying hey i need two cranks in two weeks 
you know like you can't do that with a four rotor right and then also just simplicity like you know less heat less dorito problems. i mean when you're when you're competing you need less problems so. yeah and you want to be able to take a hit in the front and not have to worry about you know engine and manifolds and if there's intercoolers in the way that right. makes things worse yeah you got plenty of space in here for yeah yeah. Plenty of room for activities. How far back have you, I mean, like, so... As far as it'll go. It literally touches the firewall in one point. Like, if you yeah, look see, real closely the down there, like, the engine actually is hard on it. So do you have to keep the stock firewall per any rules, or...? Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, that's FD rules, and same as D1NZ, so... Um, you're allowed to chop out for the tunnel, but it's got to be a certain measurement off the front window. This is, like, full... This is full race car, but it's, like, it feels like... Still street car. Yeah. Carbon mirror, carbon mount, carbon door, yep. carbon dash. It's strong stuff. Bro. Carbon firewall back. Wait, wait, what are you? What? <laughs> you just. <laughs> That's what it's built for. You know what? Hey, that. So That's what it's built in, for? When you and Vinny want to go door bash, right? Now you don't have to feel bad. So I can smash Vinny's door? You should, yeah. You should. You'll probably I don't think Vinny's got this. <laughs> Do you make this yourself, all the carbon? No. Uh, company called Speed Hub, two brothers from New Zealand. Like I said, we, there's so many dudes that are involved in my program, from fabricators to, you know, Speed Hub, do all the carbon and, uh, motors as well, like Mast, Marsh Motorsport. There's, there's a lot in it. Look at, look at all this. Just got the the carbon firewall here with the bulkheads coming through. Like everything is. Nice that's, actually, is that's actually like 10 mil thick in that one point. So then you can just rattle gun your bulkheads up. So then you don't have them turning? Right. It's all so clean, too. Yeah, it's like yeah. super well done. It's nice radiant fuel so This is one of the first, uh, like, pro cars I've seen. It can just be a show car, you know? Right. It looks like you just kind of... I think people think that it's like some sort of show car, but then I, I abuse this thing. I was surprised <laughs> to see that this was still metal. Yeah. I think that's a whole other phase of the build that I need to get to. Like, right. I think the next one will have... You know all carbon composite quarters rear end do you like the extra weight or you want to get rid of um it? no i just think that like i needed a, a second car real fast after mm. i sold the aristo my plan was to just do one in like sort of six to eight months so like for me to do that whole extra phase would have taken another four months right 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 i needed to get to driving you know it's ready to go yeah it's, it's ready it's to good. go what about inside what we're we working with what made you i mean i imagine I uh, love left hook cars. Okay, yeah, left hook? Yeah. Is that I what you guys love, call them? Yeah, we, yeah, we call them left hook. <laughs> you, got, you got the vent. Yeah, that's just for looks. My Man. buddy, my buddy, he's worse than me with his OCD. So, so he had to have it. Yeah, he had to have I, it. I've yeah. seen carbon dashes, but with just stickers. Yeah. You know, just to yeah, replace no, that. I'm pretty sure that made it a way bigger job than it needed to right. be, but it looks cool. This is an amazing, amazing set. Ah, I see you got yourself a Hollinger in here? Yep, yep. Hollinger, do all my gearboxes. And then that's a big dry sump. Uh, yep, dry how, sump. How much oil is that hole? Uh, liters, I think we fill it with seven liters per oil change okay. we put in this. Okay. If, it's, if it's dry, probably like eight and a half. Okay, yeah. okay. I just realized the inside of your doors are also done. I think they weigh about three kilos, so I don't know what that is in pounds in your yank talk, but <laughs> <laughs> they're about, three, about three kilos plus windows, so they're light. Zach, could you, you see yourself in this? See yeah, right. this is the this is the first S chassis. I've, I've felt that like as I would come with that. <laughs> you see how we fill it with gas, Zach? So we just on dry brakes. So we just pull those off, those dust caps, clip clip, same as the rally car, just pump it. And then when you see it come out, sweet. Yeah. Nice. What kind of power did you say you made? It makes 850 at the tire at the moment. Naturally aspirated. Naturally aspirated. No spray, no nothing. No spray, no nothing. That's on C16. So you can probably get a little more if you go like a VPQ16 or something like that. But well, yeah, do you need just, it? <clears throat> hell no. Yeah. What's the it's torque on. curve like? Um, reasonably linear, but yeah, when, the, when it comes on the cam and the throttle, because it's got the progressive throttle, so when mm. the second butterflies open, it's a little bit nasty. Mm. I, I heard you warming like it up, <laughs> and uh, it sounds like it revs really fast. It does rev real fast, yeah. Like, it's funny, like, when I do stuff and when I drive in it, I don't actually really thrash it, and I try not to hit rev with it. Like, I try real consciously to just sort of get it up on the power band and then just sit off, you know, just so the valve trains all happen. You're full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> so I noticed you only got one caliper back there. Yeah. yeah. So you only foot brake, front brake, hand brake, rear brake? 
Um, or no, 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 no. So that's foot brake as well. Okay. I just decided not to run the dual calipers, and it was basically just for simplicity. Yeah. And then I thought, if you're getting better at driving and stuff, you shouldn't even really, really be rolling for brake right. heaps. You know? All right, all right. I respect so, it. Can you explain these rotors to me too? They look like oh, they're... No, that. They're just cheap. So we buy those um, for like a hundred bucks, and I just replace them all the time. Okay. So I just wear them. They wear out faster than my pads. All right, all right. Well, let's hear this bad boy. Yeah. <laughs> That is a very, very solid, naturally aspirated shot. That, that is easily, easily. Nine point eight nine seven six three two. I'm gonna just round that up to ten. <laughs> you ready? All right, I think we're ready to go.
like what you did. Hank, how are you feeling about that? Are you scared for your daddy? Good. You scared for your daddy? <laughs> I'm not afraid of shit. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for coming. Thanks for having me. Oh, yeah. Solid shreds. Well, I don't know what that yeah. was. I'm still nervous. All we gotta do now is wrap this bad boy. That's a wrap!